Abby Jones here with CJ Nikowski. CJ, this is the most exciting start for this team in quite some time. A 6-0 start. It's the best record in the second half since 1977. The Rangers are coming off of two sweeps. What was working in the past two series, and what are you looking forward to seeing in this series? So I'd say this. The big one was probably what they did with runners in scoring position. It's been a story all year long for the Rangers. Things slowed down going into the break, and everybody panicked a little bit, and understandably so, but the reality is the way the Rangers were hitting with runners in scoring position was unsustainable. So they slowed down a little bit before the break, and they've picked it right back up. That's been a big part, right? We know this team always hits. What do they do when they have the opportunities with runners in scoring position? They cashed them in in a really big way. Also a really nice debut from Alex Spees. The pitching uh, was really good, but I'd say what they did with runners in scoring position, probably what was mattered the most over those first six. And they're facing the toughest part of the second half and the beginning of the second half schedule. How are they going to do that uh, and continue to find success against the Dodgers here? Well, it's a great question because you are right. I mean, it's a really tough part of the schedule right now. What's fun about teams coming in here, at least the first two series, is that they knock both of those teams out of first place, right? But Tampa Bay Rays and the Cleveland Guardians, well, here are the Dodgers now in first place. Will the Rangers be able to knock them out of first place as well? That would be pretty incredible. The reality is, of course, when you're playing these teams and you're having the kind of year the Rangers are having, they're throwing their best at you. Uh, that is part of it. Tony Gonsolin in game one tonight certainly will be a challenge. He's got a really good uh, split finger, but the Rangers have hit good pitching all year long, so they're primed for it. They're ready to go. I'm not saying they're going to win all three games, but that certainly would be fun. Andrew Heaney will be on the mound tonight for Rangers Live. You can tune in at 630 and first pitch at 705. We'll see you there.